Good morning and happy Valentine's Day. Welcome to my channel. I'm Misty Purcell. I design cross stitch patterns and dye fabrics under the name Luminous Fiber Arts. I'm excited to be here with you today to show you what I've been working on and tell you a little bit about some designs I'll be releasing soon. Um, if you'd like to receive notifications of new designs that I have when they're in my shop, um, fabric that I've dyed that's been added to my shop, you can sign up for my newsletter. And the sign up is on my website right at the top, luminousfiberarts.com, and I always link it in the description below the video. So how have you been? I hope you've had a good month or a few weeks, depending on when you last watched my video. I usually do about a video once a month, and then I in between try to do a stitch with me video. So I did one, I don't know if it was a week or two ago. The time flies. Um, this month has already gone by really quickly. It's hard to believe we're halfway through February already. Um, but I'm, I'm back and I hope that you've been well. Thank you so much for your comments on my last video. I really enjoyed reading them and I thought it was interesting seeing what people's favorite floss color was. I also like the creative way people combined um, the different giveaway options into one one sentence or one um, answer and it was interesting also to see that sometimes one person would comment with their favorite color and right afterwards someone else would comment and it would be the same the same color and sometimes it would be like a really unusual one or one that I hadn't thought of so that I, I thought that was really interesting to see and of course I um, shared some of your favorite colors as well liked a lot of your your answers the winners, um, I've already sent them their giveaway um, winnings. <laughs> uh, the winners were Jack's Creative Inspirations, Julie Stitches 2, and Denise from Black Ribbon Stitch Studio. So congratulations to the winners. Okay, so I wanted to start by talking with you about my new designs that I'll be releasing for Needlework Expo. So if you've been watching Floss Tube lately, you probably know that there's a virtual um, market happening in March when um, the National Show was originally scheduled. That was moved to May and then ultimately canceled for this year. It'll be happening next year at this time. But we have a virtual trade show going on that weekend, that first weekend in March. And I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of exciting new designs coming out from all of your favorite designers and I'll be releasing three new designs for that show and um, if you're new to cross stitch you might not know how these things work so we usually have an annual trade show that shops can attend it's for shops only um, and then they can purchase supplies and new designs that are coming out fabric floss etc during these shows. Um, and then the fun thing for you, the stitcher, is that you get to see all the new things that are coming out and then you can order with your needlework shop whatever things you would like and then they'll get them in for you. So that's what's going on. Um, the show is the 6th through the 8th of March and you can follow, if you are on Instagram, you can follow the hashtag Needlework Expo and there's also a Needlework Expo Instagram account that Stephanie Webb of Lindy Stitches is managing and she's doing a great job with that showing previews and, and full reveals of designs that will be releasing at the show. Um, so you can follow both of those and um, as I said I'll have three designs for the show and they're all um, I'd say spring summer themed. Uh, you can my head is strategically completely covering one and part of another behind me so you can see a little peak of one up above my head um, and so two of them are continuations of series that I already have going and one is completely unrelated to any series it's just a design so I'll tell you um, one is a continuation of my gathering series so this was gathering berries which I released in May June June I believe, uh, of 2020. And so the next design in this series is coming out at market and um, 
it'll be the same size it's stitched in silk again just like this one um it uses one skein but there's actually more stitches and i don't know if it's just a difference between how i stitched this one and how my model stitcher stitched the other one that maybe she because she does stitch a little bit more tightly um so she only used one skein you might want to get two skeins i used two for this one so you might want to get two skeins for the next design in the series and just like um gathering berries it'll include a couple yeah, you know, you can you can put a couple buttons on it. It's stitched that way in the model, or you can leave the buttons off. And I've got a, a version of the pattern with the buttons on and, and without them. So you can stitch it either way. And then it has ruched ribbon around the outside edge with beads. That's how I finished it. Again, a pillow. Um, this particular pattern, the Gathering Berries, uh, continues to be a fundraiser through June 30th for um, my niece and her family. Her husband had cancer and unfortunately passed away last year. And so I'm continuing to send them the profits from the sale of the design through the end of June of this year. So um, I've had a few people ask if it still, if it still would be contributed to them. And yes, I'm, I'm continuing to send all the profits from this design to them. So um, I have this design in my shop in print and PDF form. I just got more of the Belsois Cranberry back in stock and I've got the Chianti rayon ribbon as well. So if you haven't purchased this yet and you need the supplies or if you've purchased this but you need the supplies, those are available in my shop. Okay, so the next one I wanted to show you because I said there would be two series that are continuing. Um, I have a friendship series which I started releasing last summer. The first one was Playful Cats and each design centers around kind of things that the particular animals on the design like. So um, playful cats, their play friends are playful together. You know, they've got their ball of yarn. And then of course there are fish and their cat feet running around here. So it's kind of a mix of, of um, you know, cute animals and then things that those cute animals like. And then, you know, the animals alternate colors. So there's a light, a light colored animal with a dark, um, motif and then a dark colored animal with a light motif and, and then I stitched my initials and a friend's initials on each one so um the next one is called BFF bunnies best friends forever bunnies and basically the way that I decided which friend um was just either like that they liked the thing the activity or I just thought that they might like that animal in this case, I have a lot of friends that like cats, so that made it harder. Uh, but since I put a yarn ball, and my friend Cynthia is a knitter, she does some stitching, but she's mostly a knitter, and she's the one that really encouraged me to start designing. Um, I decided to include Cynthia's initials here. And then um, on the BFF bunnies, I put my friend Barbie. She's pedal pusher, if you've heard of Barbie. I talk about her fairly often. Um, I don't know if Barbie likes bunnies, but Barbie, you can let me know if you happen to watch this video. But when I thought about like what animal might Barbie like, it seemed like bunnies were a good choice. So Barbie's initials are on the next design and then you'll have to wait to see whose initials are on the um, subsequent designs. But Playful Cats was the first one. I do have the supplies. I have the um, pom-pom trim and I have floss packs for Playful Cats as well. And so the next design in that uh, series, the friendship series, will be coming out for Needle Work Expo along with a third design. Um, you can get more details about these designs from your shops. I'll be sending them the information and um, the full photos really soon. So you can just talk to your Needle Workshop and ask them to order for you anything that you'd like. Okay, um, I have had a couple of finishes since the last time that you saw me. Let me grab those. Okay, so these are things that I actually finished quite a while ago, um, like late December, early January. But since my last video was a whip parade, you haven't seen these yet. So first I finished, I was working on Santa rides and I'm just kind of periodically stitching these. I'd like to stitch all of them if possible. And I had stitched this one last year 
And then I just finished this one this year or last year, either the end of 2020, beginning of 2021. Who can say? I can't remember. Um, I did change the colors to look more like the pattern photo. So they're a little bit brighter than what the actual floss colors are if you pull them. And the fabric I'm using is a 46 count solo I dyed that's close to sea foam and mint green, which are color, or, um, and jolly green. All three of them really. I mean, they're all kind of similar. But anyway, it's um, a color I dye. And um, so it's just close to those. Sorry, there's uh, icicles falling. It's a winter treacherous wonderland around here in central Pennsylvania today. And really, for the past several weeks, it's like it snows and snows and snows. And then we have some icy rain. And things warm up a little bit. And then it snows and snows some more. And you shovel some more. So we've had kind of a a misty, a me, a misty rain yesterday, and then everything's covered in ice, kind of like a, a, a thin sheet of scary ice. And then I guess we're going to get some more of that and then some snow because we haven't had enough yet. <laughs> I feel like I live back in Michigan for as much snow as we've had this year, but Michigan, I don't think it's getting as much snow as we are, which is weird. Okay. So this is um, by Veronique Anjanji, and it's you can get it from the Le Brodieu Parisien Etsy shop. That's where I got mine. Looks like this. There's like a million little cute kitty cats doing Christmassy things. And I had stitched what Kelly Stadola calls candy cane dance. So I finished that. This is stitched on 40 count white Zweigart. I did change some of the floss colors slightly to reds that I preferred because I seem to have a preferred red color palette these days. And I also changed the eyes. I think the eyes were green. I decided to make them blue on the kitty. Very cute. Lots of back stitching. This took forever. I'm not gonna lie. At one point it was a little tedious, but I pushed through as one does. Okay, let me tell you about what else I've been working on. I've got three whips. I'm pretty sure I've worked on this since uh, I last showed it. I honestly don't remember. It's been, it's, it's just a whirlwind of, of life. So if I'm hopeful that if I can't remember, you don't remember either. And if neither of us remember, it doesn't matter, right? <laughs> I don't think you keep that close track of my projects. I mean, I'm not keeping that close track. So hopefully you aren't either. Um, okay, Winter Rose Manor. This is by With Thy Needle and Thread and plugging along on it. So theoretically, there's been progress since you last saw this. The house, it's slowly coming along. I stitch on this when I have time, often during phone call, like Zoom calls. This is stitched on 40 count natural. I've changed some of the floss colors. Stitching with one strand. It's very pretty. So I'm enjoying that. And it's just kind of one of those long-term things that I'll finish when I finish it. And I'm not worrying about it. I wish I could have that freedom with all of all of the things I stitch. I need to work on that. Okay. So I pulled Vintage Birds back out. Which I started this last spring. I'd had it kitted for a while, and um, I'm really glad that I did start stitching it. It's so, so pretty. I'll just hold it a little closer in case you need to see better. This is by Jeanette Douglas. And here it is. Isn't it gorgeous? It's actually a little bit more vibrant and pretty than it's showing up in this light. That's better. It's still a little bit warmer than what you can tell. Maybe about there. Um, <clears throat> this is stitched on 40 count 
And um, this is a solo that's similar to Sparrow, but a little bit um, redder, just a tiny bit redder. I've changed a couple of the colors, but most of them are what was charted. So I really worked hard um, since I've started back working on this on this flower. I did this flower and the stem, this flower here and the bird. And so like I've gotten quite a bit done in this area and I'm kind of working my way over and then I'll go down and work over again. So the um, peacock, I changed a little bit. It's supposed to have eyelets in all of the little openings here, but I just, by, um, because one color, it's alternated. So one, the eyelets that you see stitched were one color and then the ones that are open were supposed to be another color. So I just started stitching the one set of eyelets and figured I'd do all those first. And it just looked so good that I didn't do the others. So it looks good either way. I just liked it this way. So that's why I, I did it. I know I changed this color. This was one of the new week's colors from last year at market. I think it was Glacial Melt. And then I changed the yellow. One or two of the yellows. So this is so pretty and I'm really enjoying it. So I've got a little bit more to do on the bird. There's plenty of other stuff here I need to fill in, but I think I could see this being done this year or, you know, at the very latest next year, depending on how my, how my year goes. I'm very busy with model stitching right now and I've got kind of a larger project. This apparently is my year of larger models. Last year was my ornament year and this year's my bigger projects year. So I'm spending a lot of time stitching my stuff right now. And then because I'm like, I can't just show you like two projects and then that's it. So yesterday I was like, it's time to pull out something. So I pulled this back out. I stalled on this because I, okay, I'm changing a lot of the colors here to look more like this pattern photo than what my actual flosses when I pulled them looked like. So whether that's a dye change thing, whether it's a photo thing, I mean, there, it's, it's hard. Uh, I, as a designer, know how hard it is because you try to photograph something, you try to make it look like the actual thing as much as you can, and then you get it back from the printer and it can look a little different and you may not be able to photograph it that accurate. I mean, it's just hard. So I understand and I'm not mad or I don't even care. <laughs> like, but I like how this looks. I picked flosses that looked like this mostly and then that's what I'm stitching. So the problem though is that I don't know if this is originally wood trail, but whatever it is, it wasn't going to work for me. And um, I picked black coffee from Classic Color Works and then I stitched it. I'm like, ah, oh, that's too dark. It, and it was bugging me, but I was like, maybe it'll be fine. And it didn't want to rip it out. So I left it and left it, left it. And then yesterday I'm like, you just need to take it out and find something else. <laughs> like, why? You're just letting this stall. So I did. It actually only took me probably 15 minutes to take out the, you know, this little tiny bit here and here. But part of the reason I was putting it off is because I'd screwed up the bird and I'd had to do all this fudging. And so like I knew I was gonna have to fudge some more and I wasn't really looking forward to that. But I just was like, just deal with it. And so I did. This is part of a series. There are three designs, summer, autumn, winter. And so I'm stitching them all together on one piece of fabric and then I'm changing across the top and the bottom. I've got a little bit of the alphabet and then it's going to say to everything there is a season. So I retarded part of the design. So I got quite a bit done yesterday. I pretty much just vegged and stitched this. It's so pretty. So now I'm using Weeks Blackboard, which is a gray that I really love. It looks perfect. And then I stitched a bunch of this plant, this strawberry plant here. And I did have to fudge the bird a lot because I, I just couldn't follow this pattern. <laughs> I can't follow my own pattern sometimes too. It's just a, it's just a thing with me. This is 40 count sparrow. So here you can see I've started to do the two everything right there. So I made really good progress yesterday and you know, I've got more motifs to stitch, but I could see myself being close to done with um, this section in the not distant future if I have time to work on it. But man, it sure is pretty. And again, color, that's, that's pretty decent back there, but of course you can't see it as well. Yeah, it's awesome. 
So yeah, once I got going, I thought, oh, I'll just stitch on this for a little bit. But then I was really enjoying it and I just kept going and I watched Friends and all kinds of things. I've been, um, been trying to have more fun and it's kind of weird, right? Like it's kind of a weird goal, I guess, but I just realized that I need more fun in my life. One thing that I, I, for, I didn't do it this weekend, but that I was, I started doing, um, on, uh, Apple plus, I think it's called Apple plus. Um, I got like a free subscription for a year or something because I got a new phone around Christmas time and they're doing new episodes of Snoopy. And I was like, you know what used to be fun watching Saturday morning cartoons as a kid. I imagine there still are Saturday morning cartoons, but it's definitely a different time now where kids and adults can just watch kind of whatever they want, whenever they want. But obviously when I was a kid <clears throat> and back before you even like used VCRs that much, um, you know, things were on at a time and you watched them or you missed them. <laughs> you know, you couldn't fast forward through commercials, etc. I'm, I'm sure many of you know what I'm talking about. So one thing that I used to enjoy as a kid a lot was Saturday morning cartoons. And so I decided that I would um, start watching this new Snoopy show on Saturdays. So I watched the first episode last Saturday. I think it debuted last Friday. It was really cute. I laughed. I enjoyed it. Um, so if you happen to have whatever it is, Apple TV or Apple TV Plus, whatever it's called, um, you might enjoy watching the Snoopy show. The first episode's kind of like probably for kids who have no uh, knowledge of Snoopy. So it's kind of like how Charlie Brown and, and Snoopy met. Um, anyway, it's it's cute. So if you enjoy peanuts, I think you might like it. So one of the ways that I'm trying to have more fun, especially when we're all uh, not able to go too many places and then it's winter. So there's really hardly anywhere you can go. <laughs> That's one way that I'm, I'm trying to uh, have a little bit more fun in my life. Um, so that's what I've been working on. And um, what else? Oh, just a couple things. Like I've got some restocks in my shop. So you can find um, Christmas bird trio kits, a few of them, and Christmas in the kitchen kits and floss packs for some of my other designs are back in stock, like um, farm fresh eggs. I've got floss and I've got the trim for the eggs. This is uh, one of the eggs. Oh. <laughs> And I've also got floss packs and trim in stock for a Robin's Discovery, which you can see right there. And that's it. Um, I've got some Brenda Gervais charts, some of her older designs back in stock. Um, you know, things are going reasonably well here. The weather, like I said, isn't great, but since everything that I do for my job is remote, doesn't matter what the weather is doing, I am teaching and it's actually preferable to me <clears throat> to just continue having class rather than having to try to adjust because of the weather. So that's been really nice actually. It's like, I don't care, if, I don't have to worry about commuting to work in bad weather and um, or my students trying to get to class in bad weather. And I don't have to worry about re redoing my syllabus if the weather's bad because we're not canceling class. So that's been good. Um, I've got lots of really cool designs coming out for the expo that I'm excited to share with you. Um, I've got some great designs coming out later in the, the spring and the summer that I'm excited about. I've got all kinds of stuff coming out that I can't wait to share with you. So I think it's going to be a good year. Um, so I'm going to do a giveaway. Um, a friend of mine works at a, um, a craft resale shop, I guess I would call it. And it's for charity. And I guess they get, they used to sell the cross stitch charts they get, but now they just give them away. They apparently don't know that cross stitch is experiencing a resurgence and that they shouldn't just give them away. Anyway, maybe that news hasn't made it to my, my part of the middle of nowhere, Pennsylvania yet. Um, but so the friend that I have that works there, that volunteers there, um, she knows that I'm always on the lookout for prairie schooler charts. And she's like, hey, I have I've had this prairie schooler chart. Do you want it? And it's actually one that I already have. But I was like, well, 
I have it, but I would use it in a giveaway for my channel. So she kindly gave it to me when they received the donation and I have it for you. So as you know, probably if you've been watching, I'm a big fan of Prairie Schooler. And so this is a cardstock copy, a used copy of Prairie Birds, which is super cute. I've stitched a couple of these. I've stitched the Cardinals and the Wren here. Okay, so if you would like to be entered into this giveaway to win a copy of Prairie Birds, you need to mention the word fun. Tell me something that you do to have more fun. What's a way that you incorporate fun into your life? Maybe you'll give me ideas of things I, I can do to perk myself up in winter. Um, so tell me what you do for fun. And um, the giveaway will be open for a week. So today is the 14th. So the last day that it'll be open is the 21st. And then I'll draw a winner a day or two after that. <clears throat> So um, I'll ship internationally. You need to um, comment on this video. It has to be on this video because I'll use a, a search that like, searches the video specifically for the word fun. And that's how it'll choose the giveaway winner randomly. Um, so if you comment somewhere else, it won't be included in the search. So you need to comment on the video. Please be 18 or older. Do not mention giveaway. And just tell me what you do to have more fun in your life. What's something you do for fun? Um, I think that's everything. Kind of a short one, I think. I don't know. I've, I've stopped and started the video a few times to uh, change things out. So I'm actually not sure how long this video is. But I hope that you are well. And that you are um, stitching all the things. Hope you're excited about the expo. And I will be back um, in about a month or so with another video and I'll probably do a stitch with me again in a couple of weeks. So you can look for me um, then as well. All right, guys, you take care and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.